हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ टॉपिक दैट इज दामोदर वैली कॉरपोरेशन एंड दिस इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ रीजनल प्लानिंग इन द जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड स्टडी सम ऑफ द फैक्ट्स अबाउट दामोदर वैली कॉरपोरेशन दामोदर वैली कॉरपोरेशन देर इज अ वर्ड कॉरपोरेशन अटैच विद इट यू माइट बी सरप्राइज टू नो के वाई दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कॉरपोरेशन एंड देर आर मल्टीपल अदर प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल्सो विच आर नॉट called as such because this corporation the corporation is a term which signifies that it is an autonomous entity or you can say this is an autonomous entity but yes it works under government oversight and you will be glad to know that damodar valley corporation is the first such corporation in india which was established as a statutory body under the damodar valley corporation act 1948 and it was modeled after tennessee valley authority of usa and that is why sometimes it is also called as tennessee valley authority of india the core objective in laying out this project was to address the issues of flood control irrigation power generation and to ensure socio economic development in the damodar river basin and whenever we are talking about the damodar river basin it means the basin area which covers the parts of jharkhand and west bengal okay let's us see some of the major dams and reservoirs that are located on this particular project first is maithon dam this is built on river barakar in dhanbad district next is panche dam panche dam is located downstream of maithon dam and it is on river damodar Tilaya Dam. It is used to be the first hydropower project under the Damodar Valley Corporation, and this is located on the River Konar in Koderma district of Jharkhand. And the last one is Konar Dam, which is located on the Konar River in Hazari Bagh district. And this particular small dam is also used for irrigation and power generation. You can see all these dams. in the map given here look at this this is a maithon dam this is tilaya dam panche dam and konar dam these are the major and four important dams that you need to remember when you are talking about damodar valley corporation okay so as this damodar valley corporation has been set up in the 1948 obviously it has brought huge benefits for the region because this particular corporation or this particular project has led to the development of numerous industries nearby one is you might have heard about the bokaro steel plant you might have heard about the durgapur steel plant and asansol and chitranjan these are the places which are known which are known for heavy basic industries and all this is attributed to the establishment of damodar valley corporation had the damodar valley corporation been not there these industrial development would have been completely impossible let us see some of the results ke what it has yielded one is that yes it has provided irrigation to almost 45000 hectares of area and due to the availability of irrigation agriculture has seen a incremental growth in this area especially in fish breeding and other allied activities it has also led to the afforestation and recreation activities as this project was a very humongous project and overall the electricity produced through this project is around 7000 megawatts and when such massive project is being laid out it also brings some of the challenges let us discuss what these challenges can be first is flooding persist although this entire project was laid out to control the flood but however some of the flood related issues continues to be there and i can recall the example of the year 2021 when there was a heavy rainfall and this heavy rainfall has caused dam overflows especially in the areas of havra and hugli so despite the existence of this large dam the havra and hugli continue to face the wrath of floods another issue is coal based pollution as lot of heavy industries are located in durgapur and bokaro these are leading to the air and water pollution and if i take the name of two cities one is asansol and dhanbad 
these are continue to be reported as cities with high level of air pollution in these areas another issue is river contamination yes as the industries are there they are going to discharge some of the waste like iron steel and thermal plants that not only contaminates the water but is also reducing the fish population and in fact jharia coal mines you might have heard about it jharia coal mines are known to release acid mine drainage acid mine drainage that is making the water unfit for drinking and agriculture purposes there is another issue that is aging infrastructure as the project was laid and developed in the year 1948 so it has been more than 50 years the overall equipments that have been used in this has become old and it requires to be continually continuously repaired so the aging infrastructure is another issue that is also causing some of the problems in its operation another issue is the conflicts over interstate water sharing jharkhand and west bengal both are continuously tussling with one another over the demand of water river oh, over the demand of water from the rivers as the jharkhand is prioritizing the water for industry while the west bengal is prioritizing water for agriculture and drinking purpose another issue is displacement and land acquisition when the this project took place there was a huge displacement of the native people and in fact they were inadequately rehabilitated even to this day lot of people are yet to get a proper compensation of their lands and that is why there is a land acquisition going on for northern karanpura project which the people are resisting because they have a fear in their mind that the government is not going to pay the dues as required another is huge debt and financial stress yes huge debt and financial stress is another issue because the jharkhand and west bengal have not paid the electricity dues to the dawandar valley corporation and due to which jharkhand owes around 2500 crore to damodar valley corporation that is also affecting the operations of this great corporation and continuous delayed renovation of maithon and panchet hydro power project is lagging due to lack of funds and the red tapeism especially i can say the bureaucratic delays so all these factors are further compounding the problems of damodar valley corporation that you can quote in your challenges hope this video will help you to cover damodar valley corporation stay tuned with us thank you and have a nice day